Hello and welcome to Dawn Chorus Writes, a miraculous ladybug fanfiction and audio fic. This is a new series called Plague's Day Out and it is a companion piece to The Princess and the Cheese. So I hope you enjoy it. It is written by Sheikha, narrated by Dawn myself. Hello! And yeah, I hope you really enjoy this. It's a really fun little piece to go alongside of it. Massive shout out and lots of love to Arkataza for her commissioned art piece for the thumbnail so all her information is listed down below make sure you go and send her some love make sure you send Sheikha some love by for writing it all her information is listed down below make sure you send me some love by smashing that like button comment down below what you think of it and what will happen in the next part and make sure you subscribe so you do not miss out on this one and other series and other one shots to come and enjoy Chapter 6 The fight was short and well fought. Despite powering the suit, Plague could sense how well Cat and Ladybug were working together. His plan was working faster than he imagined. Their bond was strengthening by the minute. They seamlessly balanced each other during the fight, helping each other with a barely a word. The connection between the four of them pulsed like steady heartbeats, leaving the two kittens practically vibrating. Tiki would be thrilled. Plague could tell that Adrian was energised by the connection, but also confused, wondering how his bond with the bug could have improved when he had moved on to Marinette. Ah, well, time enough to explain that later, when the reveal happens. I think I'll let Tiki deal with that one. When the Akuma had been doused by the exploding bagpipes? Seriously, how do the bugs think of these things? They released the Akuma and the city was set right once more. Would you care to do the honours, kitty cat? Ladybug said with a trill to her voice and a wide happy smile. Of course, my lady, he called back, sauntering over to the blackened remains of scorn and breaking her sunglasses. I'm just glad she wasn't too hot for us to handle. Pound it. So, you seem in an unusually good mood today, my lady, Cat said happily. Anything happening in the amazing life of the miraculous ladybugs? If he hadn't powering the suit, Plague would have been laughing himself sick over the irony. This was worth the loss of his cheese. This has been the best day in the whole life, Kitty! Ladybug squealed, ramming Cat in a hug and dancing them around in a circle. If I don't tell someone soon, I think I might just explode. By all means, LB, I'm all ears, you know. And he wiggled his cat ears at her playfully. I'm not sure if I should. I wouldn't want to hurt your feelings since. Honestly, LB, nothing could bring me down today, he said. I think I finally moved on, like you asked me to, so by all means, share away. I will always want to know about anything that makes you happy. Thank you, Cat, she said sweetly. That means the world to me. You know the boy I told you about? The one I'm in love with? Yeah, not that you told me anything aside from the fact that there was one, he replied. Wait, are you telling me? Yes! She squealed. He kissed me and asked me out today. We're going out on Saturday. Oh, cat, I don't think I have ever been this happy. I am very happy for you, my lady. Really, I am, Cat replied, and Plag could tell he really meant it. Is it okay if I still call you my lady? Of course. We're allowed to give each other nicknames, Kitty, and thank you for being so good about this. It means a lot to know you care. She pulled him into a hug as the jewels beeped. You kids better get moving, Plague thought. Otherwise, this is going to get a whole new level of entertaining. Anything for you, little bug, Cat said, returning a hug. 
but if he ever breaks your heart, he'll have to deal with a very angry Cat Noir on his doorstep. <laughs> I'd like to see him try. I have no doubt, but I thought you said you had moved on. For once, you aren't the only lucky one. Today, I kissed the most beautiful girl in my school and we have a date on Saturday too. The kitten sound impossibly smug. Plag couldn't wait to tease him about all of this. Oh, 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 so you really have moved on. Good for you, tiger. Ladybug's voice was light and full of laughter. If she ever breaks her heart, I'll dangle her from the Eiffel Tower until she begs you for forgiveness. She won't, he said confidently. She is the most beautiful, talented, creative, caring person I have ever met. And she happens to be in love with me. Oh, really? She scoffed. She must have not have heard your puns yet. And I thought I was the most beautiful, talented, creative, caring person you have ever met. And were you just buttering me up? She has heard my puns, and she even puns back a little. And are you feeling a spot jealous, LB? A burst of laughter was his only answer. He chuckled. Well, I'll tell you, my lady. You are beautiful, amazing, creative, and caring. But this girl, she doesn't need a miraculous to be a hero. No offense, but... I think you would have to go a long way before you could measure up to her without the suit. Pag laughed silently. Ha <laughs> oh boy, would that one come in handy when the reveal comes? I need to remember that one. Then I'm happy for you, Cat. You deserve to be loved by someone that amazing. I'm glad she makes you so happy. Come on, kid! Time to wrap this up! Back to your princess, remember? He made the ring beat for the final time. Well, Elby, I have to pick up my girlfriend from school. We have a project and we need to work on. Get you on the next patrol? She scoffed as he leapt away. What? Like more kissing? They de-transformed in a nearby alleyway. Adrian casually flipped him a piece of cheese and gazed up at the sky with a contented sigh. Plag smirked to himself as he savoured his camembert. Oh, how he had missed it. Sure, the kid was still going to the moon over the same girl. He just didn't know about it. But this time, the girl loved him back. Yeah, the kitten needed this, he thought. So, kid, happy? I thought admitting my feelings for Marinette and asking on them would mess things up with Ladybug, Plag. But we worked better than ever today. Why is that? Maybe because the tension's gone, Plag said with a shrug. Besides, Pigtails is amazing and now that you know she loves you. He wriggled the space where his eyebrows would be. Come on, kid. Time to get back to your princess. Adrian wore a smile that lit up his whole being. Yeah, she's my princess. The smile slid into a smirk. And don't you forget it. Plag snorted before flying back into his hidden pocket. <laughs> Believe me, kitten. I never did. Oh, I love Plag. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, this B-side of Plag's thoughts. It's chaos. I love it. Um, make sure you smash that like button if you enjoyed it. Make sure you go and send Chica some love. All her information is listed down below. And make sure you comment down below what you thought of it. Um, and make sure you subscribe so you do not miss out on the next parts. Um, and make sure you check out side A, which is Princess in 
the cheese first and then this is side B to the story. So make sure you do that in the right order so you, it's not too confusing. And I hope you're good and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.